Hi, I couldn't find a good tutorial for the Miro video converter, so I decided to make my own. It really won't take that long. This is the Miro video converter, and it is a really efficient video converter for those folks who don't want it complicated. They want to convert. Let me show you how easy this is. I have a file folder open with some video in it and I'm going to click on the video, going to drag it, drop it, and then I'm going to select a video format. And I have a list here of the various video formats that Miro uh, Video Converter can do. Theora is a video format for those folks on the Linux platform. You Windows and you Macers, leave it alone. Got no use for it at this time. Okay. You also can convert to various devices, various phones, media players. Uh, I'm sure that big hunkin' iPad will show up here sooner or later. Um, here are the Apple devices, the iPhone, the iPod Classic, the Nano, the Touch, and even those on the PSP persuasion can get something done. I'm going to actually select the droid. So I'm going to click. All right, so I've dropped my video. I've made my selection as the kind of the size of the video that, that is compatible with the droid. And now here comes the hard part. I'm going to hit convert. And no must, no fuss, no changing of settings, no trying to figure something out. It's done. Now this was a really small video. I, I would say um, the larger the video, the longer it's going to take. And what I'm going to do now is here is the converted video. I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to open QuickTime. And I'm going to take a look at the properties of this particular video. This might be helpful to some of you. Now, um, so far I've converted AVIs and .MOVs without a problem, a hitch. So I'm going to show the inspector. Okay, here's the deal. Uh, it saved it 640 by 480, and that's the 4.4 by 3 aspect ratio. Uh, file size is about 13.3 megabytes, and it saved it in the MP4 format. So, with a little experimenting, you probably can get the, convert the video converted into a file format that you want for either your device or if you're planning to upload it to any of the various uh, web hosting sites, you probably can get it spot on and you don't have to muss fuss and figure out, oh God, why is it doing what it's doing? So, there you have it. Simple, quick, easy. Best of all, it is free the Miro Video Converter.